Hello and welcome to today's lesson on 3D drawing for your model railway. Um, today I'm going to show you how to draw this cable drum. Um, we're going to be using um, the coil tools and we're going to show you how to use the sectional analysis to be able to look inside one of your models, models to see what's going on inside. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to create a sketch off of that plane there. I'm going to use the centre point circle. I'm going to extrude that out by 11 millimetres. Okay, then we're going to extrude that to one millimetre of thickness, and then we've got the, the side of our cable drum. So the next thing we're going to do is create a sketch off of this face here. We're going to use the two point rectangle. As long as the length is beyond both edges of this, the, rec, the circle here, um, it doesn't really matter how long it is all we're going to use this rectangle for is to cut the wood effect into the side of the cable drum here. So I've used a thickness here of 0.3 millimetres. I've printed these myself and I get quite good effect with that. Um, so next thing I'm going to do is to find the distance from the edge to the centre and we're going to go for 4.7 millimetres and then we're going to extrude the rectangle into the face of the circle by minus 0.3 millimetres. Okay, and then the last thing we're going to do with that is we're going to pattern that feature. So we're going to select the feature, make sure it's selected up here. Direction, we're going to use the blue line here on our origin to come down the model. I'm going to come down to, I'm going to go 9.2 and I'm going to increase that to 5, 8. 8, I'm going to go with 8. How's that look? Yeah, pretty happy with that. Okay, so once we've got to this point here, the next thing we need to do is to start to uh, mirror this across so we've got planking on the other side. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is going to create an offset plane from here that's going to go 1.8 millimetres. And the purpose of this plane is so that I can now mirror this whole object across uh, nice and easily in the correct place. So I'm just going to create the mirror and then body select the whole body, the mirror plane is going to be that offset plane I've just drawn and then click on OK. Ok so now I've got two bodies up here with both of them the wood planking is exactly the same direction so what I could do if I wanted to is go into the second body, move copy and then if I turn it onto this face here I can use the angle here to rotate it slightly and then all I've got to do then is reposition so that the centre points match up with the model. Okay, and then I've got my wood planking in two different, slightly different directions, giving me that, that effect that, that they've not been put, you know, completely mirror imaged. Okay, I'm also going to show you a different way that you could actually rotate this as well. So we go back into move copy, and we can come. Normally, we'd have it selected on free move. If we come into rotate here. We then select the axis, so we're going to turn on the origin and we're going to select the red line here, which we know is the centre of our circle line. And then you can just click the, ro the rotation in here for whatever angle you want it, so 45 degrees there. Click on OK and there you've got your, your angle slightly different as well. OK, so the next thing we're going to do is going to create a coil that goes between the two um, sides here to give that impression of a cable that's been in here. So I'm going to turn off my construction plane and I'm then going to do create and then coil. And we're going to use this face here to draw our coil on. We're going to place the center point on the center of the origin, which is going to be the center of our circle here. And I'm going to want the diameter to be 0.5. So our coil is going to be going around a spool that's 0.8.5 millimeters. Now obviously you can change that as much as you want um, to give you the, the size that you require. Okay, so I'm going, so, so the diameter is the 8.5 that we've just drawn, okay, and I'm going to use a section size of 0.3 to give me my, my coil there. Okay, you can see that clearly the height is way too far across, so I'm just going to bring this back so that it's finishing inside this um, object here, so like that, okay. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to join. 
I'm going to increase the number of revolutions here um, until I feel like I'm getting the nice and tight but not uh, overlapping each other. So if I start with 10 of them, I can see I've still got a little bit of a gap between them. So I'm going to increase that slightly. Uh, let's try 12. So there we go. They've, they've all joined up there. They're reasonably tight. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to have a look inside this coil so we can see what's going on and, and then, then I can explain why I'm going to do um, an extrusion on the inside of this coil. So if we go up to inspect and then we come down to section analysis, if we select any of the planes on this front face here, we can then scroll back the model to be able to see inside. So you can see, looking at this, look at the inside is completely hollow. Now when you go to print that, that would then obviously cause you an issue with not having enough wall thickness here and it's probably break down in here. So the, what we can do to overcome that is create a sketch on the inside here using that centre point circle coming out. You don't want to go all the way to the outside because then obviously you're going to cover off the outside of the model and you won't be able to see those coils. So if we go to 8.5, which is the radius that we um, set, you can see how that's on the inside of the coil. So you won't lose the detail. Actually, what we'll do is we'll come, we'll come down to 8.45. So it's ever so slightly inside um, the center point. You won't lose the detail of the coil, but you'll um, increase the strength and rigidity of it. So if we come back around, we can then extrude this out and we want it to join. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll turn off this section analysis using the eye icon over here. Okay, and then we can adjust the extrusion here. And all we're going to do is extrude it to that inside face. Click on OK. And then we've got our cable drum. Okay, so the one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole through the middle here that we that, that would be used for you know putting the, a, a bar through the middle to help it unwind. So we'll just create a sketch, and we're going to use that face using the two, the centre point circle. Create a hole. We we'll go for 1.5 millimeters, and then we're going to select all of those profile, extrude, and we're going to come all the way through to the other side and we've now got a hole all the way through the centre there and that you could put you know, a piece of glass or something through there to be able to attach it to something. Okay, it's a nice little easy piece of scenery there for you. Hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. If you have, please um, press the like button and please do subscribe. It really does make a difference. Thanks for watching.